Every task had a practical application. It was one-to-one -one tied. That uh, this theory has this practical application. Ifana and I were very much into a uh, few years back. We were actually thinking of making physics and uh, physics videos that would actually in encompass simulation to uh, teach physics better. So this was something that we were we wanted, and we actually got this would actually work. The having practical tasks, it is lacking in most education systems. So even in universities, it's like we have some lab courses and they're tied to theory courses. So like we learn everything in theory, we apply just a few concepts in the lab, not even all of them. Whereas here, it's like everything we learn, we're learning it to, up, to apply it to, theory, to a, a practical situation. Having practical tasks and re requiring us to dig into the theory like the theory doesn't need to be shoved down our throats, right? When we face a challenge, we'll be like, okay, what, what other theories are there that help us solve this task? We learn better when we feel the necessity to learn something. I definitely, I think, found my calling kind of because I never thought that I would be this interested in control systems because like after controlling the drone like this and Speaking to Lamia Miss, whose main subject is control systems, I found that like the way I was thinking and the way I try to approach problems, it does help in control systems, I think. And I think after finding that, I got a lot more confidence in myself being like, what am I going to do after I graduate? Because I know I, I'm really interested in robotics, but it's, an, it's a very new field here in Bangladesh. Now I want to explore control systems further. We never took any control classes in our university. So all everything that we learned was for, due to Yantra and everything we applied and we will be, we are actually in much complicated control systems right now for our final year project. In our task four, we got very low marks. And in our task five, we found that we only delivered nine and the top one was I think 13 or 14 packages delivered. We were like, okay, how did they do this? Because we thought we were giving the best solution. But after approaching it uh, in a bit differently and optimizing it further, we found that, yeah, there, are, there, do, there do exist better solutions. So I think this mentality is something that Iantra does well. This mentality is something that people need to grow into, and we're on our way to get there. I know like what I used to think like, like three years prior, because... I would still try to be like, you know, try to control the whole project in a way, like have control. Like I would not be able to think of the solution if I couldn't think of the entire solution. While doing this project, it was like kind of refreshing because even I took a different mentality in a way. I'll do my part, you do your part, and then we can sit together and figure out how to merge them. And that sitting together and then merging it, I think that like it did help in my teamwork skills and communication skills a bit. The documentation or to go through documents to keep uh, written uh, documentations of softwares and tools we would probably first search uh, youtube and then leave it at that this time we were quite deep figuring out what, what what what's done by which function and how to implement it we were thinking to do a project from very long time ago uh, but we did not uh, get you know, it was so out of our reach at that time that we couldn't formulate that how would we approach it. We're going from Yantra and understanding all those simulation stuff and applying them especially, we were able to piece together a lot of our unknown variables and now we have a very good insight about how to approach much complicated projects in the future. My confidence level is up because of these things. Learning tools often comes down to like, I have to go out of my way to learn a specific tool unless it's being taught at university. And Eonship gave us a like, robot operating system, which is like the tool to get into robotics if, if you want to take it further. That helped a lot. That boosted my confidence a lot as well. It was challenging, but the things we learned from it are, honestly, I don't think there are any other courses that I learned this much from. And like 
get got this much confidence out of like finishing a course every step that i took every task that was completed we had a set of knowledge and in one way or other we never thought of winning from the first and at this i could say i did not think of coming this far i would always think of myself all right i am getting this knowledge and i'm pretty happy about it even like my ranking to myself was we would probably come in top uh, top 10 top 20 ish and i would be very happy like this is the first time we are going international uh, doing a robotics competition that we never have touched let's go for the knowledge first let's figure out how much we can learn so i would say it was like cradle of knowledge for us and every single cradle we i i used to get i would be happy with it and i i would think of what else i can do